You can't imagine the flack that I get all the time when I tell people that a lot of carbohydrates is unhealthy for you. This is the recommended diet. It's what all the health experts and the doctors tell us we should be eating. It's a lot of carbohydrates, a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, a lot of whole grains. These things are actually killing us. And they don't believe me because they've never heard of a glycated protein. So glucose, which is blood sugar, comes from the carbohydrates you eat. You digest the, carb the carbohydrates. The glucose from that goes into the blood and then goes and binds to all the proteins that make up your body. And this is all of the proteins that make up your body, in including your genetic material, DNA and RNA. And you literally get glued together. The body gets glued together and it can't function. And then these glycated proteins make something called free radicals. Now, free radicals are very damaging substances that attack the cells that make up your body. And it's very, very difficult to be healthy when you're having all these problems go on. Now, we know that vegetarians, particularly those who eat a lot of fruit, have more glycated proteins in their body. But the vegetarians don't want to talk about this because they want to talk about living on a plant-based diet. Plant-based regimen is if that's the healthiest way to go. So we live in this society that worships carbohydrates, believes they are healthy, believes that fat is bad, cholesterol is bad, meat is bad, and those things don't make up. They don't yield glucose. So the only place the glucose comes from is the carbohydrate-containing foods. Now these glycated proteins are extremely damaging. Now, I've got this little research paper right here. I'll read you the title. It says, Nutrition and Alzheimer's Disease, the Detrimental Role of a High-Carbohydrate Diet. So this, is, uh, this was published in the European Journal of Internal Medicine and they showed that these neurodegenerative diseases were arising because of the consumption of high amounts of carbohydrates. Now, I don't know when this information is going to get out there. I'm trying to get it out there. I'm trying to give this information to you and to the people. That's why I wrote this book called The Glycation Factor. It's the authority on this whole issue. And it would do you a great deal of good to read it, and to understand it, and to know what it says, and then use the information in there as a solution to this problem created by the glucose or blood sugar. So that's, it's just a major issue. We've got to get away from it. We've got to reduce our intake of carbohydrates. And this just isn't refined carbohydrates and unrefined ones. They all become glucose. We've got this thing going on right now where people talk about, okay, I can eat fruit or I can eat whole grains and they don't cause the problems that this other stuff does. And we are stuck in a mindset that talks about the spike in blood glucose and the spike in insulin that occurs from these different foods. Spikes have nothing to do with anything. Sure, are they real? Absolutely they're real. One carbohydrate-containing food will cause a higher rise in blood glucose than another. But that has no bearing on anything related to your health. Because all the bad things that happen to you happen at glucose levels that are lower than the lowest glucose-containing food you can imagine. That's called the glycemic index. So take a look at the site. There's a lot of free content here. You can get a good insight into this and get a hold of the book. You're going to get free ebooks as well and I'm going to educate you in this process. You're going to see what it's all about and we've got to get more of our health professionals understanding this process and getting involved with a truly healthy way of eating, not this bad way that we're suffering from now.